Hi, in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a glossary page in SharePoint. I'm Alex from Doc. Depending on your business category or the products you are developing in your organization, there will be terms that are not familiar with others who are not in certain project teams. To help others understand these terms, you can create a glossary page in SharePoint. Everyone in your organization will have access to this page. As we are a contract management software development company, we do have a glossary page in our website to introduce everyone to various terms that are related to contract management. This is the page I was talking about, the glossary of contract management terms. Here we have listed a lot of uh, contract management related terms, uh, starting from the alphabet A to uh, W. So there are a lot of it. Uh, when you click on it, it will uh, expand to the description. So that's how uh, we created a glossary page for our viewers. And let's now create a similar page in SharePoint using simple text reports. So let's get started. So uh, this is one of my communication sites in SharePoint, the DM brainstorming. The first step should be uh, to create a new page for the glossary. Let's create a new page here. I'm clicking on the new button here and choosing page. Let's choose a blank page. Let's create it from scratch. Click on create a page. Let's give it the name list of terms. Uh, I have already created a banner for this uh, page. So uh, let's upload it from my desktop here. It's in the downloads. Yeah. This is the page I created, the contract management closer. Click on add image. And you can adjust the focal image if you want. So uh, the header section and the title is ready. Now uh, let's first create uh, alphabets. So it will be easier for the users to access the terms if we are arranging it in alphabetic order. So what we first do is, We'll just uh, add the alphabets here from A to Z. And after that, we will create a list of uh, terms and a description below. And make sure that when a user clicks on any of the alphabets uh, at the top, they will quickly uh, take into the uh, section, that particular section, including the terms that he is looking for. Now let's create the uh, alphabets index first. So this is the uh, index, alphabet index I was talking about. Now let's create a new uh, text web part below and create the, uh, add the terms and their description. So click on the plus icon here to add a new web part and look for the text web part. You can also search here. I'm choosing the text web part here and new uh, text web part is added here. So what we will do is we'll just give a title, alphabet title first, and then add the uh, terms and their description. So let me add that here. So I have added uh, all the alphabets. I have added a few terms for uh, two or three uh, alphabets too. Uh, I'm not uh, filling all the alphabets here as uh, uh, it takes a lot of time. So for tutorial purpose to show you how to do this, I have created a few. So we have just added the uh, um, index alphabets first, and then we have added the terms uh, along with uh, alphabet headings. So we need to uh, change the uh, alphabet headings to titles and the terms uh, I have just bolded this type uh, headings of each term and there is description as well. Uh, do this for all the uh, alphabets. Uh, I just added terms for the first two alphabets here. Uh, you can also add uh, different terms under these uh, uh, alphabets too. And uh, yeah, this 
Yeah, this is how you can uh, turn a alphabet heading into a title. Just select it and choose heading one from here. So it will now change to a uh, heading, heading one. So and bold the terms and descriptions works of contracts is the next term just make it bold and we need to add some quick description here and once you are done you can uh, republish this page so click on republish the page will be now made live again so as you can see there is a link uh, shown next to all titles all alphabet titles that's the h1 tags so uh, first uh, just open this page in another tab too and in the second page let's take this page to edit and in the first page let's copy the link next to each alphabet heading by right clicking on the link and choose copy link address and then here in the index title uh, in the index section you can choose that particular alphabet and click on hyperlink option from the top and give the link of the title here and click on save you can choose open link in a new tab option to uh, open that section of the glossary or the terms list in a different tab but i will like to keep it unchecked as i would like to access it in the same page so click on save uh, you can do this on, for all the uh, alphabets here i am just uh, showing you the alphabet w how it works here and click on republish yeah the page is now saved so uh, when a user comes to this particular page he will see the alphabet index here assume that he is uh, searching for a word starting from w so that he can go here and click on w and the page will take you right into that particular section where the title w is uh, listed so that uh, he will get quick access to all the details here so that's how uh, this uh, glossary works and you can also make this little more interesting by uh, changing the font size or the color of the uh, alphabets here so that it will stand out click on more options and uh, choose the font color as uh, let's make it blue yeah so uh, this this looks different and interesting so let's do that for uh, all the keywords fonts here yeah that's amazing but i would like to make change the color of the divider to black itself that's important to make it stand out so you can do that you can edit it in any way you wish so uh, try different options you can also add different uh, web parts if you wish for example, if you think uh, there need to be a, a hero web part at the top before the uh, index comes in, you can click on that, click on the plus icon at the top and add a new uh, hero web part there. And so that you can uh, just make it a one column for now. Let's just make it a one column for now and uh, select a link from or uh, anywhere so i would like to give a link to our website here so uh, we'll just uh, give a background image first let's choose an image first and then we'll give the link to our website so um, let's choose a random image for now i think uh this image we should this should be fine so i'm choosing this image and i would like to also add the link to my website 
select a link to a document or page so let's give this a new link here from a link yeah, yeah. click on insert and you can give a title here if you require yeah it's automatically populated this is a feature image of the page i just selected so you can select the background image custom background image if you think but i think this featured image is perfect for now there are also other options call show call to action link learn more call to action link, etc okay yeah we'll let's give it the link or a link here too and close and once you are done just click on republish all the changes will be saved so as you can see there is a banner image that says this is contract management glossary page and this is the title of the page list of terms and i have given a uh, hero image here that relates to our website's glossary page when user clicks on learn more he will be taken to the uh, glossary of contract management terms page we have set, set up in our website so uh, that's very interesting and uh, there are also there is also a alphabet uh, index here and when the user clicks on any of the uh, alphabet he will be taken to that section of keywords or terms and the descriptions so that's very interesting and uh, i think this is very useful for uh, everyone who is looking forward to uh, creating a a glossary of terms for their organization uh, try creating one for your organization and include uh, the terms used in various projects and for internal processes uh, let everyone understand different jargons and acronyms easily from now uh, let us know about your experience in the comments we are happy to answer your queries too uh, see you with another interesting video tutorial soon have a nice day